Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. Last time we met even more characters and defended this castle, except for the crystal that was stolen, and also Rosa. And also, there were people here that died. It didn't go well. Yeah, it was pretty much a disaster in the last section. Nothing really went well. But now we are moving back to Baron through this ship that is conveniently ready for us. Ooh, a ship. This reminds me of the first time I was on a ship. I was traveling with my friends on the Mayflower to a new land that was just discovered. Good times. That's the most believable story you've ever told somehow. Joe probably was on the Mayflower, but I think we need to plan out our strategy before we land in Baron, since Kane isn't with us, and Cecil isn't on good terms with the king. We can't just waltz our way in. Yeah, this is a tricky one. I would imagine there's another way in besides the main entrance, but I didn't notice anything in the first part that would let us in for sure. Well, Barack knows this game pretty well, so I imagine he would know how to get in a different way. What would you have to say about that? I don't typically like to spoil things, but I guess there's no avoiding it. We aren't making it to Baron this episode. We're going to hit a small problem on our way there that will throw us off course. I hope it's nothing that could possibly inconvenience us that badly. Maybe I can play this for a bit to steer the ship in the right direction. I think this is one of those scripted events, meaning you can't just play in a different way to get around it. Whoa, the water is getting pretty bad. I don't know what that thing in the water is, but I don't think it's here to help us. This must be what's throwing us off course from Baron. If I were there, I, Captain Trump, could have saved everyone and probably even convinced the Leviathan to steer our ship itself. Uh, that's definitely not happening. Also, Rydia and Yang are gone. They were actually useful. I hope Edward falls in, too. Not exactly, but things are about to get much worse before they get better for our group. This seems like a very abrupt way of changing the direction of the plot. I don't even think this thing has been mentioned before this moment, but now it's ruining our chances of making it to Baron. That seems very inconvenient. That's only because it is. Admittedly, they could have built up to the idea that a Leviathan was in the water, but it will make a little more sense later, though that would be the spoiling the game a little bit. Well, that's a shame. At least Cecil is OK, but I'm a little worried for the other members except for Edward. I wonder where they ended up. Not sure, but at least there's a town where we can ask the citizens for help. This should go well, I would anticipate. Hey, this place looks familiar. Did we arrive here earlier in the game? And why is the Black Mage turning Cecil into a toad? That seems like an unkind thing to do. I think he can change us back if we talk to him again, but yeah, that is really weird. Well, in case you haven't figured it out, this is Mesidia, where Cecil and the Red Wings killed various members of the town in order to take the crystal in the beginning of the game. Now Cecil has to face his past in order to get back to Baron, since he has nothing else that can help him. This must be pretty sad for the people that are here to realize Cecil is back after what he did for them. I know he's supposed to be the hero now, based on his actions afterwards, but I can't blame the people here for not forgiving him at all. That is really sad. I'll tell you what isn't sad is this dancer. Ah! Oh yeah, this is still the best game. Have you? Joe, this is not an appropriate time for this? Oh yes, this oh, 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 oh. Don't ever stop dancing, please. It's what I need here. How does this keep happening? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you finally done? I swear this happens like every time we play this game. And it was actually an old lady that whole time and somehow transformed him into a pig. Is that what happened? Oh yeah, sorry guys. I think I can I hold it together now. Maybe one day you can overcome whatever it is that those dancers do, but somehow I'm not betting on it. It's Joe we're talking about, so obviously not. Okay, on to something a little more meaningful. Cecil has no choice but to acknowledge the terrible things he has done to this town, and here he is finally going to get the chance of redemption. This scene is lowered in value a little based on the fact that nobody acknowledges that Cecil was turned into a pig, though. Well, I guess he turned back when the elder talked to him, but that is still weird for nobody to bring that up. What exactly happens here now? Cecil has to travel to Mount Ordeals in order to atone for killing those in the beginning of the game, but he's going to be accompanied by two students learning magic, Palam and Poram. Ooh, yeah, kids come to President Joe. I'll be happy to go on this trip with the both of you. Somehow I figured this would get really bad once kids became involved. Is there really nobody else this elder could have sent? If this Mount Ordeals place is dangerous, then I don't think they should accompany him. That makes sense. 
but it's possible they don't have a lot of people left to spare since Cecil and the other Red Wings probably killed the more experienced magic users, but still that doesn't mean kids should be involved in this anyway. I hadn't thought of it like that, but my point still stands. All right guys, let's heal up before we go any further. I don't think the game designers thought about this more than we have, so there's not much point speculating. And if these kids are joining now, Barack, can you tell us what exactly they do here? Ah, uh, yes, so Palome is the black magic user, and Poram uses white magic. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of them, as their magic capabilities don't start off well as they have lower level magic, though to be fair, they do learn better spells pretty quickly. It is a bit disappointing going from Radia and Rosa, who have had important development both in gameplay and in story just a little while ago, to these two who don't leave a lasting impact. Is there anything else important about them that could be noteworthy in the story without giving any major spoilers? Not really, as they're not in the game for very long and they don't make a lasting impact even when they are here. I think they're around just so Cecil doesn't go completely alone to the mountain for gameplay reasons. Ooh, guys, I know what to do. I can tell one of my stories since you all enjoy that so much. No, we do not, please. Don't tell another story. So there I was with my friends at a cabin in the woods that was probably abandoned a while ago, which of course makes it the perfect place to go for a vacation. My friends Uglier Joe, Harold, Steve, and Bruce Campbell were all there with me, and we discovered a book called The Necronomicon Ex Mortis, which translates to Book of the Dead. We didn't think it was real, but then people started getting possessed, and then everyone died but me. I then met up with some other people and nearly got possessed myself, but I didn't as I chopped my hand off and replaced it with a chainsaw. I thought this was a cool moment, so I said groovy in a shack outside the cabin and soon after was transported to the Middle Ages. I fought the medieval dead along with other people in a castle until I slept for a long time, which was supposed to send me back to the present, but I slept too long and landed up in a wasteland. The end. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was just the Evil Dead series of movies and those could not have happened, just like every other story you tell. Actually, the part about him sleeping too long probably did happen. Come on, guys, that really happened to me. There's an easy way for us to tell, Joe. You said you cut off your hand in the story, but if you have both hands right now, then it couldn't have happened. Oh yeah, I'll count them right now. One, two, eight, what, how did that happen? I could have sworn I cut one of these off. Yet another inconsistency, but who didn't see that one coming? Hey, Barack, did we miss anything in the game that was important while Joe was telling his story that didn't happen to him? Not in particular just going to a, a chocobo forest. And even then, the larger chocobo doesn't really help us since our inventory space is infinite in this version of the game. Although there is this scene showing Golbez, Kane, and Rosa just to remind the player of the stakes. Not that they are particularly hard to remember, although it does show one of the minions, Scarmiglione, being sent somewhere. So we have that to pay attention to. Wait, what was that? Did you say this guy's name is Scarmiglione? What kind of a name is that? Interesting that you ask, there are actually four archfiends that serve Golbez that we will encounter, kind of like the fiends that were by the crystals in the original Final Fantasy. I won't say the other ones now as we're not fighting them yet, but there is another name, Gurion, who appears in the 3D versions of the game, but we won't fight that at all here. Those are actually based on Dante's Divine Comedy, if any of you have read that, though based on what I know of you all, I'm guessing the answer is no. I have to be honest, everyone, I never learned how to read. I've just been faking it this whole time. That is the least surprising admission you could have ever made. Yeah, we know how you are around your teleprompter, so we just kind of figured... Hey, this isn't really related, but I just don't want to talk about Joe anymore. Ben, didn't you feature in some new song or something? I saw your name on it and didn't know if it was one of those AI videos that just made it sound like you were talking when you really weren't. Yes, that was really me, not some AI-generated version of me. I was rapping along with Tom McDonald, one of the best rappers I know, who constantly brings the facts to Americans in song format. Wait a moment, isn't this that Tele guy from earlier? He was on an entirely different continent like the last video. How did he get up here now? Honestly, I have no idea, but yes, I did hear that song as well, though I do find it strange how Tom McDonald is a Canadian, yet he seems much more invested in American politics. Not saying you can't be involved in it, but it's rather strange how he doesn't show the same level of concern towards Canada in song format. Yeah, I guess that is a little strange, but I think it would be a better use of our time to talk about Tella. It's weird how there are three mages on our team when there's only one physical attacker. That does not seem very even. Not sure, but I think you're right. I can't imagine why magic would be so important coming up unless there's some major enemy we need to fight that's only weak against magic or something else like that. I will say that is not the case. It does feel pretty weird to have this combination of characters, though. If it helps, it won't be lasting very long. I think the main thing to remember 
is that Edward is out of our party and won't make things any worse. Oh, yeah, I'm happy to see Edward. Ah, oh, out of party. It's so good to have him. she. Are you serious now? Donald is freaking out over Edward being gone? What is it with you people all having such strong reactions to things happening? Edward was out of the party like eight minutes ago, too. I don't know. I just didn't notice. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Oh. Ah. Donald, you need to stop and calm down. Otherwise, you're going to end up like me when I see the dancers. But I hate Edward, and I'm so happy he's in here. Ah. How do you... Uh. Calm yourself down when you see the dancers. Ooh, I'm thinking about the dancers. It's happening again. I don't know what to do. Guys, now I'm too busy thinking about the mom bomb from before. Oh no, hey. Ah, it's happening to me too. Ben, I think the others have lost it and it looks like there's a boss fight coming up. I think it's up to you and I to take control while the others do whatever it is they're doing. Uh, it looks like that Scarmiglione guy from before, I have an idea that Tella wants to learn Meteor and Cecil wants to receive redemption from taking the crystal and killing those in the process. I think if we get through, then Barack, Donald, and Joe will finally overcome their insanity and turn back to normal. Ooh, hold me closer, tiny dancer. Uh, if we get rid of these zombies, we should have enough time to focus on the Archfiend alone. So maybe magic will do the trick. Uh, yeah, keep using fire. Just like the bombs from before. Uh, all right, we can just keep using magic since Cecil's blade won't hurt them. Maybe that's why the magic users are all here. Yeah, the magic users, unlike Edward, who I hate, ooh, uh, I hate him being in the game at all. Will you three stop interrupting us? We're trying to play the game here since you all are too insane to play yourselves. We can't stop the feelings, but the dancers and Edward and It's too much to focus on. We need you to beat this guy, dude. Ah. Can't even understand you at this point, guys. You're barely even saying words. Oh, what is I'm leaving you. Even if we can't help it. All right, guys, you are all officially lost causes. I think George and I can handle this whole playthrough by ourselves at this point. Hey, Ben, I saw that match of golf in the volcano a while ago. I think that's the only time you went insane yourself. How are you keeping calm, unlike the others? Not sure, but if it helps us keep focused, then I can't really complain. Honestly, this doesn't require that much focus. It's just mainly healing and attacking, so it's at least not a difficult fight that we were stuck with. Don't worry, guys. You are... Oh, got this uh, for sure. Not like any of you can be playing this still. How have none of you gotten better in the past minute or so? None of the things you're reacting to are even here. I just uh, see the dancers in my head uh, doing their dances, and it... Makes me want to go back off this mountain and dance with them. Think about everyone I've ever met named Baha'i. I'll get word and I want to build a wall around them to get them out of here since I don't want them near me. I just like them. Tell them bombs so much. Whoa. Barack, are you okay there? You sound kind of underwater at this point. Don't worry, guys. We've beat Scarmiglione, and we're almost to the part where you're probably going to be better. Honestly, I don't know if it will even work. Switch the formation for the next fight. Ah, you'll need it. Please do it. I don't know what you mean since we already won, but okay, I suppose I'll do it. Hold on. I think something is happening. Barack was right after all. At least he is thinking kind of clearly. Ah, uh, see, I knew you could. Oh, do. Just a little longer, and then you'll all be all right. I wonder if Scarmiglione can dance for me. That would be so good if he could do that. Hey, I just thought about something. How is it that reaching this part of Mount Ordeals would help them get better when it's just a part of a video game and not some magical force that will help them focus? I have no idea, but I don't really have anything else to go off of. So we just have to hope this works out. Though we'll probably only have to put up with them for the next couple minutes being like this. What do you mean I am completely fine now? That is what all the people have been saying. Donald, you are the most sane and focused person I have ever met. Unlike that, ah, uh -uh, that Edward, who should be gone forever. I think they're starting to get better and use real sentences, even if those sentences are still pretty incoherent. It's coming, Liam. All I have, I need you to dance for me right now. 
and now Joe wants Scar Miglione to dance for him. He has somehow gotten even worse as time goes on when it's helped the other two at least a little. We need to get past him, otherwise he's going to be completely incoherent, or at least more than he is right now already. You, you should use a bomb. Uh, fragment, I saw it in the menu that might work against him. <laughs> no, Barack, we are not using bombs. You need to accept that despite us having them, we will not use them. Yeah, we're doing all right so far. It's just needing to attack him while being sure we get enough magic attacks on him as well. I think we'll be okay, as long as we don't get too many knockouts on our side. Edward, if I see you again, I'm gonna... Boy, throw this game in the garbage. I can never get over this. You're a useless bard, and I hope you always feel that every second. You're all heavy. Donald, he's not even that bad. Calm down. Even though none of us liked him, it's not enough to justify this kind of hatred against him. I'm willing to bet he was even a Democrat that rigged the election against me. Yeah, I know that's probably what happened. It wasn't rigged. And you know what? You Oompa Loompa. Ah! Okay, we're finally done against this guy. Now we just have to get to whatever the next part is, and then we can have Tella learn Meteor, have Cecil do whatever will redeem him, and the other presidents will be back to normal, I hope. There's only one way to find out. It's time to heal the poison off screen, and then we'll get over there to see if it's going to work. There's no more battles, so you can switch the formation. Back and you'll be ready. Good to know now. Let's see what's in this place. Hey guys, are you all normal now or close to it as you'll get? I think so, yeah. I'm as good as new now. What about you, Barack? Barack, are you there? You bet Barack is back. And now it's time to help Cecil achieve the same thing. He needs to conquer the Dark Knight part of himself, but not through fighting like everything else in the game, but by defending himself against the Dark Knight's attacks. This won't kill Cecil and the battle will end automatically meaning he has finally conquered all the negativity that he has experienced. Thanks for helping us get through the last part while we weren't able to help. It was good to see you didn't need my guidance when it came down to it. Yeah, sorry about that. I let my hate of Edward cloud my judgment and it caused me to become erratic. I'm not sure where I'm at right now. Did I ask that dead guy to dance for me? That sounds kind of familiar, but I don't know. Glad to see everyone is back to normal. Something I did notice was that some unspecified voice called Cecil his son. I don't think we've met Cecil's father or mother, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I feel like that's something important that will come up later in the game, and I don't think Barack would say what it is as to not spoil anything important. That is correct. I will not identify whatever it is that was talking to Cecil as that will become more relevant later. Now we need to focus on heading back to Mycidia since we have accomplished our goal. Well, that is fine. I didn't want any spoilers, so that is good. I'll say I had a lot of fun this time, despite you three being a bit nuts for a while. It was still interesting to fight one of the Archfiends myself since I wasn't in the first game's playthrough. I think we're okay now. I can't guarantee it won't happen again later, but it's not happening now. So that's what is most important. Honestly, it will probably happen again the next time a dancer comes around, but I don't want to say for sure until it happens. Overall, it was a great and fun time. Thanks for making sure we were all as focused as we could. And next time we'll go back to Mycidia and over to Baron since the Leviathan messed up our course. Yeah, I'm glad it worked out. Thanks to all who are watching. We'll be back with more in a little while. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, people.